Fridtjof Nansen, the great Norwegian, he came up with a truly radical idea, which was to build a boat that would actually pop like a cork out of the vice grip of the ice, while the team rode the polar ice pack drift across the North Pole. Nansen knew that no matter how close they drifted to the North Pole, they wouldn't drift right over it. So he knew at some point that he would have to set out on skis and reach the pole. They had the terrible luck that at the moment when they headed north, the ice beneath their feet was actually floating south. A terrible discovery, just devastating. They got quite a bit farther north than anybody had ever been, and then just said, that's it, we got to turn around. They basically dug a hut out of the tundra and lay there in their sleeping bags for eight months. They got a little bit blasé about the kayaks. The kayaks had cut loose and drifted away. So Nansen stripped off most of his clothes, dived into the frozen water, and without succumbing to hypothermia, got back to shore and saved the kayaks. They ended up feeding the dogs to each other until there were none left. When they got too weak to haul, they had to put them out of their misery. They got to Franz Josef land, and Nansen says that he heard what he thought was the sound of a dog barking. And they went out and looked, and they saw this distant figure walking toward them. And you must be thinking, who the hell is this? And they sort of shake hands formally, and he says, aren't you Nansen? And Nansen says, yes, I'm Nansen. He says, then I'm very glad to see you. <laughs> That was the only proof that Nansa was alive. I'm the first proof. Those guys were capable of cutting off from the real world for three years. They had some psychological pluck that we've completely lost. <laughs> 